Welcome everyone. How are you all doing? So I'm going to be doing a collective reading. <clears throat> I'm going to open up with Evolution of the Soul by Maruka X. Let's go ahead and dive in here. Let's see what we got. Spirit, what is going on with the collective at a soul level? Please and thank you. We have newborn soul, novices of physical existence, lessons, basic life skills, survival, flesh, traits, untamed, childlike, unrefined. We have child soul adapting to the rules of life, lessons, social structure, rules, roles, traits, discipline, dutiful, traditional. We have Arcturian gifted at divination and channeling, leader in communities and workplaces, here to advance and to innovate. <clears throat> We have simplicity. Minimalism heals the soul. You're not defined by your positions. Design a simple life. We have failing a mission or failing mission. Struggling to find purpose in life. Mission feels impossible to complete. Not living to your full potential. Answers within. Connecting to your higher self. Strengthening your intuition. Letting your intuition guide you. This is quite beautiful energy. I feel like right now the collective soul is in a young fresh energy here it's so innocent it's learning to be tame in a world full of chaos it's learning how to survive in this world that's full of chaos a lot of you might be star seeds. A lot of you are very gifted and intuitive. And a lot of you are here to create new communities to help advance the collective here. Especially the people who are such new souls here that need the guidance because there's so many people who are aimless and directionless and so many people who are asleep it's almost like you have to play to the rules of society here but it's like not working here that whatever that mission is it's it's not working it's failing miserably because people are discovering who they are and discovering their gifts and their talents skills and abilities and they're realizing that life really ain't so simple and that there's more so much more to life than what we were told. I feel like so many people are learning to release so much of what they've known and held on to. And it's helping them move forward in a lighter soul energy right helping them move forward with life in a different way i 
feel like the collective also feels stuck. It's like we feel stuck in trying to shift from one reality to the next. Like things are so dense here on this earth plane. And the answer lies within you. We've been taught to find the answers elsewhere and everywhere else, but within ourselves. Which is so far from the truth. It's being led through a freaking maze, you know? A lot of the collective really needs to tap in, to tune in and to tap in and to listen to their higher self, turn off the news, turn off the TV. My dad used to call it the idiot box, turn off the idiot box. Go out in mother nature here, explore mother nature, listen to the messages that mother nature has for you. Nature heals the soul. We have hidden blessings, final blessings in the struggle. Grow and be grow and expand beyond limitations. Be grateful for all life experiences. What else would you like to tell the collective in regards to this message? <clears throat> Level six consciousness between the world and spiritual realm. Master living between both worlds can resolve conflicts and offer guidance. I feel like a lot of the collective here is going to meet a mentor or a guide, a spiritual guide here who can help shift their consciousness. <clears throat> and <clears throat> this mentor is also, <clears throat> I'm so sorry, <clears throat> this mentor is also going to help you tap into your channeling abilities here. <clears throat> Tell me more. Synchronicity, <coughs> excuse me, fully aligned to your soul purpose, strategically orchestrated messages and event or needs are met. Look at that. These two match. This person is going to become apparent to you when you least expect it. ancestors clearing ancestral agreements pain trauma limiting beliefs imprints healing ancestral line and future a lot of you also need to do ancestral healing and ancestral work i feel like a lot of you were meant to clear a lot of the karma within your bloodline here and to release it so moving forward when you create your family or even just with your day-to-day -day reactions with people you don't hold on to old karmic wounds your ancestors are going to lead you to this person here Playfulness. Playfulness is the key to success. Be a playful and respected leader here to experience the power of play. Born witch. 
born a natural witch. Magic is both your spiritual path and job. Your success will come as a witch. Stardom. <clears throat> Achieving a high social status. Famous in entertainment. Social media famous. New territory. <clears throat> Meant to try new things in life. A walk in unfamiliar territory. Enable success through learning. <clears throat> Excuse me. See, <clears throat> some of you are destined for great things in this lifetime here. And it all starts with you aligning with your gifts here. It all starts with you meeting that mentor, that guide. For some of you, it's a guide in the physical. Some of you, you can meet this person on the internet. <clears throat> and others of you, this is a spiritual guide that's going to come with you, come to you, and guide you to your next moves and your next steps. Your spirit team and spirit guides want you to tap into <clears throat> some of your magical abilities here some of you again here are a natural born witch and some of you this is going to take you to fame and stardom this might be a new territory for you but this is something that you've been being called to explore and discover here again a lot of you need to connect with your higher self here to really help find your center and what it is you're being called to do. And remember to have fun while you do this. We have community on the bottom making a community contribution, standing up for the rights of others, deeply caring for social issues. Some of you are meant to create a large community. These people are gonna be your soul family here. These people are going to feel safe in your energy and they're gonna feel protected by you and with you <clears throat> things are going to mysteriously align for you it's like the key though is to get out of this dense three-dimensional energy <clears throat> simplify your life here and What's the saying? When the student is ready, the teacher appears or the mentor or master appears. A lot of you will be meeting a new mentor, spirit guide, or a master of some sort that is here to help you channel your gifts, your, your abilities, and your talents. And this is something that you are being called to share with the world in that it will take you to some sort of a level that you have never experienced before. When we have Draconian, <clears throat> not all Draconians are bad, so I will say that. This is money hungry and manipulative. Adapt at fitting in like a chameleon. Can unite people to work together. Again, there's some sort of a situation here pertaining to community. Well, hopefully you enjoyed your reading. Thank you so much for stopping by, you guys, and I will catch you all in the next one. Bye, you guys. Sorry, the glare was like so strong. <laughs> Bye, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in.